Well, we're once again very pleased to be in the Toledo district. It's a district I've come to love. And since we're still in the first part of January of 2022, we decided that it is important to continue our community outreach because of the portfolio for Indigenous Peoples Affairs. So today, we met with uh, Commissioner Greg Chalk and his staff, and we visited two communities uh, from this morning into this afternoon. We went to Medina Bank, and we also went to Golden Stream. And we're very, very pleased to meet with the people because we wish to listen to the concerns of the community. As you know, a large part of the portfolio for Indigenous Peoples Affairs is the implementation of the Caribbean Court of Justice ruling that is now almost seven years old. And so it is important from us, for us to hear from the people within the communities what the concerns are, the various questions, etc. Because, for example, in Medina Bank we were hearing that some years ago, 50 acre parcels of land that really ought to have gone to the community in their view were parceled off, sold to an individual, and then that individual flipped. You could say flipped it and sold to a foreigner, and now there is a foreigner controlling land that the community would have wished for. And really, this is where the issues come in. I'm very impressed by the, um, the, the persons from the villages that came out and let us know their concerns. I believe that if we are to be effective leaders, then we need to listen to our people. And, um, and consultation is key, you know. We cannot be making decisions on our own. We need to listen to what the people have to say. And so um, I'm very impressed. I, I look forward to, to bringing about facilitating solutions for our people, our Mayan people. And so um, I, I believe it was very productive, a very productive day. And um, I look forward to visiting other villages as well.